Tonight on New Japan Pro Wrestling, don't miss our coverage of destruction in Kobe as Tetsuya Naito takes on Michael Elgin for the IWGP Intercontinental Championship. JR Jim Ross and Josh Barnett have the call tonight after LFA 10 right here on Access TV. Okay, coming up next, we move to the lightweights as Slobodan Maksimovic takes on Dominic Montoya later tonight our main event Heinrich and Rota and Roy Val and Urso can we go for three finishes in a row let's see let's go to my kingdom ladies and gentlemen please welcome making his way to the blue corner Slobodan Maximovich Slobodan Maksinovic impressed all and sundry last time out at LFA 5 when he beat Eric Grant by decision. Man who has fought in the US, Switzerland, Croatia, Slovenia, Russia and Serbia. Let's take a close look here at the Serb Slobodan Maksinovic. Maksinovic is an excellent striker. I mean, he's relentless and mixes up his strikes really well. Great kicks. Look at him fake the takedown and throw the overhand right. A lot of power in his striking. Will switch up his stance also, which gives his opponent some trouble. He's experienced enough to do that. A lot of guys try it, but don't have the defensive skills to pull it off. This is a rugged cat right here. As former RFA welterweight champion Boyan Volchkovic is corner tonight. Moved to Denver five months ago, did Slobo. And here he is fighting in the US for the second time. Please welcome his opponent to the Octagon, fighting out of the red corner, Dominic Big Booty Montoya. <laughs> Dominic Montoya fought on March 10, then went straight back in the camp. And there you see the streak. 7-0 overall, his last five. The winner of Santana Martinez last time out. Brett Holler, Travis Aragon, Yama Hereja, and Zach Enlow rounding out the five. Says he's going to try and throw different combos, not be so predictable. Knows that Slobodan gets better as the rounds go on. Going to come out fast, looking for a first round finish. Let's take a closer look at Big Booty. Tough guy, very good on the ground. He likes to strike, but has some slick grappling skills. You know, I would say this, you know, to branch off into the fact that he's a Colorado State Patrol officer, it used to be very controversial for police officers to be involved in this sport. Nowadays, though, I think most of the higher-ups are starting to realize that when you've got highly trained police officers, they don't have to shoot people statistically as much. A lot less people get hurt. They're able to get people under control, thus saving lives. 7-0, but the experience goes the way of Slobo Maksimovic. The Serb is one year the older, gives up the height, gives up the reach of the arms, also gives it up at the legs. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the LFA lightweight division. It is brought to you by Team Select. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. This grappler stands 5 foot 10, weighed in 155.8 pounds. Holding a professional record 12 wins, 5 defeats and 1 draw, with 3 wins coming by way of submission 2 via knockout. Training out of Elevation Fight Team and fighting out of Denver, Colorado by way of Belgrade, Serbia, Slobodan Maksimovic. His opponent across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner, is a wrestler standing six foot tall, weighed in 154.2 pounds, holding a professional record, seven wins, zero defeats, with three wins coming by way of knockout, two via submission, training at a Shingtai Slaughterhouse, and fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, Dominic Big Booty Montoya! Your referee in charge of the action, Tom Johnson. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules earlier. I want a clean, fair fight. Listen to me at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Slow down, any questions? Dominic, what about you? Touch gloves. Let's fight. 
Three rounds of action. And big booty Dominic Montoya says he'll come out hard and fast and try and finish Slobo in the first. Serbian flag flying in the audience here at the Masari Arena. Fight Montoya's coach, I'm saying. Strike your way into takedowns. Let's get this guy on the ground because he is a good striker. State trooper Dominic Montoya. Smiling at Slobo. Where the nickname Big Booty comes from, Pat? I'm not quite sure. I not that big to me. You were looking at it? It's in my eye range. Your wife's going to be jealous. <laughs> Ooh, nice roundhouse kick there from Montoya. Montoya using feints and fakes with those hands and landing that kick. Nice wow. front line punches from Montoya. He marched him across, throwing those punches. Beautiful job, entrance into the takedown, got the single going. Simovich, spreading those legs wide, dropping those hips. That munching knee there from Slobo. Muay Thai clinch, couldn't pull the head down for the meet and greet, and big booty back to sense of Yeah, he was looking for that knee, Montoya backed out just in time. Oh, nice little short overhand right there from Slobo Maksimovic. Maksimovic, we've seen him. He fakes that takedown and then throws the overhand. And to our straight down the tube again. Getting overextended there is Montoya. Got to be careful doing that against a striker again, like Maksimovic. Montoya did say that Maksimovic oh, gets big. better as the rounds Oof. go on. And he tagged Big Booty a couple of times and some heavy salvos there. Yeah, at the end of that, he ripped a big uppercut in. But LFA, Pat, can you have a big booty and a Johnson in the cage at the same time? All righty then. Nice turnaround there from Montoya. Ooh, good knee from Maximovich. Turns him against the cage. Yeah, good job getting the double unders and turning out of there. He hurt him with that elbow. Beautiful elbow just above the left ear of Montoya. Double jab, right yeah. hand, Montoya goes down the center again, Pat. That's what I was talking about. He got clipped coming in because he was marching across the across the cage, kind of really opening himself up. Maksimovic gets the timing on that and digs his feet in. He's going to come back with a bomb. Left hook there from Slobo Maksimovic. Drips back to center octagon. Montoya dropping the hands after he threw the punches. Dangerously so. You can't do that against Slobo. No. A guy like that, you when you punch, you have to expect something coming back the other way and be ready to move that head, get out of there. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Some of it, beautiful work. Oh, elbow again, and once more above the left ear of Montoya. <laughs> Trying to block the leg and take Montoya down. He raised the orbital with that knee. Montoya needs to make use of these positions and get takedowns or dirty box, anything in there. Start doing some damage. Wrenches the neck and big booty crossing elbow. That time above the right ear. Drops the lead hand. High kick and big booty checks it with the arm. Put the brakes on that time from marching across. I think you remember getting caught last time coming in. 50 seconds remaining in the first round. Montoya loving those straight line punches. Wouldn't mind him seeing him hook some more. Got in on this. Needs to make use of it. Get it moving. Maksimovic, mouth wide open. Breathing hard. Lovely altitude of Colorado. How high are we here in Pueblo, Pat? Any idea? I think like 6,000. I'm not quite sure, to be honest with you. 50-some hundred, maybe. Wrong front. The Dorian is going to tell us. Uh, only 
only 100 feet below 5,000. Thank you, Ron. Tad below a mile. Just to color on it. No big deal. You come from, come, you know, when you're a flatlander like me, trust me, it hurts when you work out up here. Into the first round, we go to the towers. Let us know your thoughts about Slobo Maximovic and Big Booty Dominic Montoya on Twitter at Chevello Voice at Pat Militage at our craft. Four thousand six hundred and ninety-two feet. Ah, uh, okay. Ron was wrong. The indigenous native was wrong. <laughs> really good striking in this round by Maximovic. Nice combo. Lands that left hook and then slides in. Barely misses with that huge uppercut. And nice job. He gets the angle and then lands those elbows. He did that several times in this round. Very opportunistic. And that's experience. It really is. Ready to roll. Second round of action here. Very good crowd in Pueblo, Colorado. Might as well come to the fight. There's not much else to do. Everything shuts by this time. Seeing a very entertaining contest here. Ready, fight! Let's go to Ronnie Montoya's corner, Ron. Yeah, guys, just finishing up with Montoya's corner. They want him to throw some more straights and elbows this round. Michael. Thanks, Ron. Montoya's got to catch. Maximovich coming in big like that and get in deep on a takedown, put him on his back. He's not winning the stand-up war. Maximovich may be hunting for a takedown. Had some good uh, effect with his elbows in the first round, Maximovich. There you see another one off the left, but it was the right elbow above the left ear in the first. That did some damage. I'm not sure why Maximovich backed off in the first place there. He was fine in there. Being effective. There's Maximovich is switching of his stances back and forth. What's Montoya going to do with this body lock here? Me from Montoya. Toe pokes to the calf. Well, that's the, that is actually the ball of the foot. He's pulling the toes back. I can see that hurt quite a bit. I've never even seen somebody use that before. No. That, that's that's painful stuff. I've seen it done in Muay Thai where they use the heel to the gastrocnemius muscle, and that hurts a lot, but never the ball of feet to the calf. More of a karate technique, yep. ball of the foot. Imagine doing that with boots. Oh, it's two cat boots. Nice uppercut after that kick. Slobbo with an opportunity here. Really effective striking. Blends it together so well. Attacks low and high, back and forth. Knee from Maximovic. Ah. See if Big Booty can get off the cage here. Ah. Maximovic, good head position there. Oh, it's deep. Got to use it. Hook that leg, pull it out, something. Chambered knee there. And again from Montoya. The state trooper in the green trunks. The Serbian Maximovic in the black. Hit that leg again. Yes. For an overhand elbow. Point high clinch here from Slobo. He, he's trying to go to the body. Got to keep that posture good. There's the elbow, but couldn't get the trajectory he wanted. That's a decision you have to make there, and you have to neutralize. When you're getting clinched up like that, and your posture's bad, you're eating knees. Then as soon as you fix your posture, you're eating elbows. So you got to be ready for that stuff. 
Is Maximovich getting tired? Is altitude getting to him at all? Good right hand there. And Maximovich, good left roundhouse kick to the rib gauge. Up and cut from Montoya. Maximovich with a glancing right hand. Up and cut from the serve. And an elbow. Tries to open up the money box. Slobo just leaning on him. And Big Booty turns him around onto the cage. Got to use this. Getting in on takedown, single legs, but he's not able to do anything with them. Don't want to waste your energy on that stuff unless you're going to do something with it. Slobo. There's the elbow that follows the spin. Of course, next Friday night, we're at Foxwoods Casino where the elbows will fly as always for Lion Fight Muay Thai. Best Muay Thai you'll see. You are correct, sir. Seconds in his second round pack. <laughs> Two down, one to go. Leather land, he continues, follows up, landed more shots, found the home with his uppercut right underneath the arm there of Montoya. Stays in there, dirty boxing, nice work, way to stay busy. 2018 for Slobo Maximovich, says Pat, third and final round. Are you guys ready? Let's fight. Montoya not even really breathing hard. As he's staring down the barrel of his first ever loss. Of course, Ron was talking about the four undefeated fighters on tonight's LFA card. We've already seen one of them lose in Michael Perez. Could Ron Crocker put the jinx on the undefeated fighters here tonight? Let's go to Ron in Slobo's corner. Ron? Yeah, former UFC fighter Elliot Marshall's instructions were to keep his foot on the gas, keep this pace going. They want him to throw more punches. They feel he's winning, and they don't want him to back down. Michael. Thanks, Ron. Oh, beautiful me there from Slobo. The effective Muay Thai clinch. Corner called for the elbow. He went for it. Montoya saw it coming. Slobo backs him up against the door. Montoya, while he was taking those knees, again, dig into the body with his punches. Big Booty's got to start doing some serious work now. In the dirty boxing, Maximovich. Montoya, 7 and 0 oh coming in tonight. See how big booty fares on the floor. Oh, Takes the back of Slobo. Can he flatten him out? Can he sit good choke? This is big. This is his opportunity. Three minutes, five remaining. Big booty in control. I'd say figure four of the body right now. Maximovich trying to crawl his back to the mat. Maximovich has the underhook. He's got to get his hips out to the left, get moving. He's 
flattened out now, though. Montoya doing a good job keeping the weight on him. Oh. Did Slobo just get himself into trouble again? No, head pops out for the serve. They're back on their feet. Nice job getting out of there. Two minutes, 15 remains. We've got Slobo ahead, two rounds to Gusek. Montoya's head down, needs to have it up. Turn around from Slobo, and oh, throws the elbow. I think he could have caught the elbow before it actually came, because every time he spins it, he hits him with it. He does. And those are beautiful elbows from Slobo Maksimovic. All the elbows that Montoya's taken, I mean, he might have a couple bruises tomorrow, but he really doesn't look worse for the wear. Now, a few lumps around the eyes, a couple around the ears. They certainly look impressive, though, for Slobo. They're putting some points down for it. Oh, nice little back elbow there from Big Booty. Way to think. It's a very well-kept secret amongst his fellow state troopers that he was a fighter. Well, if they see him over the next week, I think it's a secret he can hide too much longer. Yeah, it's just a little scrap I get in exit 97. <laughs> Final minute now, up a gut from Slobo. Both guys working hard though. Montoya needs to go now. Big booty charges in. Well, do something with it. Go for a submission. Just say heck with it. Under 30 seconds now. Got to go for it. Hit the guillotine. Something. Anything here. Big booty going to try and pound him out. Maximovic gives his back. Should just keep punching and throwing elbows to try and get the ref to stop it. Last chance. Got to blast away. Montoya. Ten seconds. Big booty with the ground and pound. Flatten him out. Oh, had the chance to flatten him. And we go down to the judges. Overall, really good fight. Good Montoya fight. showing great endurance in that fight. He took some shots, kept coming forward, kept working for takedowns. Got a couple of them there in the last round. Never given up. Montoya's perfect record go. We've already seen one perfect record shattered tonight. Michael Perez defeated by Adam Martinez in an upset now second fight in one of the greatest fights you'll ever see. If you missed it, please buy a fish from the market tomorrow and repeatedly slap yourself with that fish. Or rewind the recording of it and watch it. Oh, you can do that too, of course, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what, even better, catch it on rematch tomorrow morning at 11 Eastern here on Access TV. Hey, good point. But also, slap yourself with a fish. Okay. Going to find out who won this one. Let's go to Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of professional mixed martial arts, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the bout 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision, Slobodan Maximovic. I tell you what, I think that Ron Kruk put the moors on our undefeated fighters tonight. That's two of them now who have been defeated for the first time as Slobo takes out Dominic Montoya with a decision. Okay, let's park our peepers backstage once more where Ron Kruk is with another undefeated fighter, our main eventer, Ian Heinisch. 
Thanks, guys. Ian Heinisch, you have been extremely open talking about your real life story of being pulled into the drug trade world, surviving prison, and ultimately turning your life around. Emotionally, can you describe how you're feeling just before you go out there and make your LFA and Access TV debut? Uh, yeah, you know, it's it's uh, the same as every fighter. Anyone who says they're not scared or nervous to get in there, I mean, that's a lie. And and but I, you got to use this energy. This it's a lot of energy and it's a lot of feelings. And if you can generate it and use it in the positive way to to fuel you, not to hold you back, like my coach says, pr uh, pressure is a privilege. And this is a great opportunity. And I'm going to use that that nervousness, that that energy, to go out there and perform my best performance of my life. Go ahead. Well, your coach is Mark Montoya at Factory X, one of the best in the business. You also train with some great fighters, the Camozzi brothers, Joe Warren, and Glories. Dustin Jacoby, who will be in your corner tonight. How have you developed as a fighter training at Factory X? Oh, yeah, they've, I mean, Factory X is my family. That's my home. They've, they've helped me become the fighter I am today, and just the skills I've learned from there, the teammates, the, the support, the coaching staff, everyone is behind each other, win or lose, and it's a great feeling, and I just know that with the high-level guys I'm training with that uh, Rhoda's not training with guys like that, and he's not going to have the skills of, of those guys that I'm training with, so I feel super confident tonight. Well, you were originally scheduled to face your opponent, Lucas Hota, back at LFA 5, but a knee injury sustained in training pushed the fight back to tonight. You've had a lot of time to prepare for this guy, so how do you beat him? Um, you know, I, I, I keep him guessing. Am I going to take him down? Am I going to come upstairs and throw hands, kicks? Um, I'm going to mix it up really, really, really good tonight, and I'm just going to hit him and surprise him and, and, and finish this fight. Good. Ian, we're looking forward to your debut in the Octagon tonight. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Ron. All right. Thanks, okay. Michael and Pat, back to you. Coming up after the break, Zach Riley has made a name for himself upsetting undefeated fighters. There's another one in Jerome Rivera. Looks to spoil the party. Zach Riley, Jerome Rivera, next on Access TV.